I hear more people, it's every day and multiple people saying, hey, I'm, I'm thinking about this option versus this option for real estate investing. Um, it could be selling a house or refinancing a house or buy this property or buy that property or do this or that. And it's so amazing to me that that answer could usually be determined, which one should I do if they just run the numbers. So oftentimes the scenarios are very kind of closely related and it's like, well, and I always say, well, have you run the numbers on both of them? And they're like, oh, no, not really. Because at that point they're trying to make an abstract decision based on something that they can make factual. It's much easier to base decisions on facts and logic. That shouldn't always be why you do it. But when it comes to real estate investing, if you don't know the numbers in the two scenarios that you're comparing, like, what do you want a message from the sky to hit you? Like run the numbers first. That's going to tell you 80% of the answer to your own question. And then once you understand the numbers, then you can look at well, which one achieves whatever goal. Maybe I take the one with the not so high numbers because it, this, this, and this, but like, dude, start by running the numbers. I just run the numbers. <laughs>